Every small step you make is going to have a big impact. <laughs> what have you been doing without me till now? <laughs> it's not the doing that's tough. It's getting to it. Get to it. No matter what. Give me your hand. I know. Oh. Woo! What I would like to help you with is to help you find the time to get to it. Life balance is one of these things that I think that all of us want to attain, but it's not a point to which we arrive. Oh, here I am. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a journey that we're going to be going through. So I want to help to bring some light to life balance, exposing the myth of life balance, if you will. It's an interesting exercise. I want you to think back to your past, to all the things that you used to do that you enjoyed that you're no longer doing, that you've no longer managed to fit into your schedule for whatever reason. Write them down or think of them in here. Okay, now, now look to that future category. If you could look into your future at the things that you'll do when you have more time or energy, what will you do? Huh. We probably don't need to take too much time, do we? The list is essentially the same. Is, it, is that fair for most of you to say? The list is sort of the same. Now the challenge here, when the first time I did this exercise, it, that, that realization made me feel really, huh. I'm looking back to the past, to all the things I used to do and I enjoyed, and I'm looking forward to the future when I can do them again, and I'm sitting here in the present doing nothing about it. Wouldn't it be nice if we could start spending a little bit more time moving some of those past and future items into our present day? I think the first step towards better balance is recognizing that we have these areas that we need to nurture, and the second is never to let any of those areas go completely flat. That obligation category in the top left-hand corner, this is where all of the things that need to get done will fall. So at any point in your day when there's a necessity or an emergency, you'll drop everything else and drop into obligation. If you don't spend time in obligation, your life will self-destruct. This is where childcare goes, this is where your job goes, this is where emergency situations and really pressing deadlines go. If you don't spend time here, there will be repercussions, right? You can't be sitting at home at 10 o'clock on a Tuesday night thinking, oh, geez, I forgot to pick up the kids from soccer. <laughs> so I figured that the best way for us to find time is in small increments and to, to start that process by looking at how you're currently spending time. To be able to find time to, to move someday into today, into today, if you will. Ten minutes of doing is better than the hour you were thinking about doing, and it's not the doing that's tough, it's getting to it. Once you're there, magical things happen. And so instead of saying, oh, it's just a small thing, I'll do it tomorrow, I started to say, it's just a small thing, I'll get it done right now. Because I do believe that every single person in this room has the best intentions to be better versions of yourselves. Is that, is that fair to say? You can be sitting there and say, I rock. You need to do that for yourself, by the way. I'm going to digress here for a moment. You need to be your own best cheerleader because most people aren't going to give you the credit that you deserve. Not because you aren't fantastic, but because they're too busy taking care of life. So the next time that somebody gives you a compliment, oh my gosh, Carl, you did a great job on that project. What are you going to do? Just stand up and say, I know. <laughs> I rock. <laughs> do it just to see a look on their faces because People get shot, what do you mean? It's like, well, you th it's true, isn't it? Because people aren't going to give you a compliment unless it's genuine, or at least you hope so. So the least you can do is acknowledge that they're right. <laughs> you did a fantastic job. I know. <laughs> it's not about taking out all of the things that you love. It's about making choices to keep the things that are near and dear and balancing out the rest. Here's the thing about spending time at the things that we value, the things that we want to. It's not the doing that's tough. It's getting to it. Because once you get to it, once you start spending time at those things you want to be spending time at, this amazing thing happens, and all of a sudden a little voice pops up in your head, and what does it say? Why don't I do this more often? So we need to take responsibility for the time that we have and use a few of those waking hours in the service of self, if you will. I'm hoping that if I run into you, uh, at some point in the future, you'll be able to say, you know, all those things I had on my past and future list, well, I got to some of them. And, and that would be a, a good thing indeed. So I want to thank you very much for your time this afternoon. Go forth and get to the good stuff.